All right, guys, I finally did it. I sat down while I stood up and I wrote my season four goals list. I'd show it to you like this, but you can't see what that says or anything. So no big deal. I'll just set it here so I can explain to you what my goals are for season four. So I broke my goals into four categories, my riding, travel, YouTube, and the overall goal of the channel or this like of season four, what I wanna get at the very end of the season. So this is what I'm working towards. This, I'm gonna set this goal list up literally right here at my desk. I'm gonna look at it every single day. When you put your goals in front of your face, and this is why a lot of people say, write them down, have them out, read them every single day. When you have your goals on your mind and you're thinking about them, you're more likely to achieve them. And that's why I wanted to write down my goals. And that's why I recommended for you guys in my preseason, five things you should do before the ski season video. Uh, I recommended writing down your goals for the season because you could easily get trapped in this like same routine, whatever. But if you had goals, you'd be like, man, I really wanted to go do this this season and it's on my goals. I'm gonna go knock it out real quick. And that's why I wanted to write these goals down. With all that being said, if you make a goal for this season, please tag me on Instagram, send me your list. I'd love to see it. I'd love to give you feedback on it or anything like that. So please tag me on your on Instagram so I can see your guys' goals. So on that note, we're trying to get amped for the snowboard season. So we were doing a meet and wax down in Wheat Ridge, Colorado at Clancy's Irish Pub and Grill and I want you guys to come say what's up to me. This will be October 12th, four to eight. So come say what's up to your boy. Michael, the ski doctor will be down there tuning your gear. So bring your skis, bring your snowboards, bring whatever you want to get tuned up. Michael has fantastic prices for these like meat, like little event things that he runs. So a $25 hot wax, $45 wax and edge and a $55 full tune. All of those, whatever ones you get come with a beer. And if you can't drink beer, you can get a soda, whatever. But come get a, come get a drink. Come hang out with us. We're doing a raffle, giving away a bunch of cool prizes, like a free online course with, or not free, a $500 online course with Tommy, a one-on-one -on -one shred day with me. We got beanies, face masks, a ton of stuff that's gonna be given away at this uh, raffle. It's gonna be a really fun time. And I really hope you guys can make that. And that's down in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, Clancy's Irish Pub and Grill, October 12th, four to eight. So I hope you guys can be there. It's gonna be a ton of fun. So let's start with their riding goals. And I, I've had this goal for two seasons now and I've not been able to achieve it. And I really want it. And I have met, I think the dude that can really help me achieve this goal, which is the backside 900. I got backside sevens. I landed a bunch last season. I was feeling good. I busted my back super hard, kind of backed off jumps. And that's a big reason why I never went for it again. But we're gonna go back this season. We're in a smart progression. We're gonna go after this trick and we're gonna work with Tommy, the professional snowboard coach I met, who's a super sick dude who uh, you'll be seeing a lot of Tommy this season, but he, he says he can easily help me get to backside 900. So I really wanna get that trick early in the year and then maybe we can even get to a 10. Backside 180s on are another trick that I've attempted. I've done a couple. I just wanna really own that trick. I wanna lock it in. I think being able to do backside 180s on would be huge and it's just it's such a stylish trick. And when you see someone do it, you're like, that's a good rider. So that's the big reason why I want that trick. I put owning all 270s on. There's, there's eight 270s, so I'm not gonna own all of them, but I really want to be a guy that can roll up and do 270s. Front side, uh, switch 27, backside 27. I wanna be, kill in the two sub game. So that's something that I feel like you gotta work on every year. You gotta keep working on it and you gotta keep working on it because two seventies, they're hard tricks. And so if you can do at least four of the eight, uh, I feel like that means you're a pretty solid uh, rider for sure. I wrote better grabs. So I am guilty of grabbing no grab zone, which is like, if, if I'm riding regular right now, that's grabbing this part of the snowboard right here. It's your front toe side, um, like tail area. They call it the no grab zone, no respect for grabbing there basically. So I wanna stop grabbing that spot. I wanna do more tail, more indie, uh, more melon. I wanna be doing a bunch of sick grabs, not just grabbing no grab zone. I wrote bigger jumps on my list too. I want to be hitting pro line. I know a lot of people have asked me, yo, why don't you hit the pro line, hit the pro line. And the biggest thing is I didn't have someone to follow me or someone I felt confident filming those jumps with. But with Kyle helping us out this season, I really feel like we can actually hit the big jumps and get good shots of them and stuff like that. So uh, pro line jumps, will be there. I also wrote larger rails. I am guilty of loving I-70 and hitting it. And they do put some large rails in there, but I do want to get into the rail yard and into other pro section rail areas and slide those bigger rails, get front boards through like a 15 foot rail, things like that. So uh, we want to be hitting bigger features in general this season. Now stepping out of the park, I put steeper powder runs. I want to maybe hike, hike to more epic terrain, ride some legit 
stuff, put a whole day into maybe hiking and maybe only get one run, but it's a dream run. So stuff like that. So I wanna take the powder riding, the actual riding uh, in the videos to another level. A lot of with taking that to the next level is getting like ab cert certified, getting beacons, things like that. So uh, as the this, this season progresses, we will definitely become more knowledgeable. And I wanna share that with you guys so you guys can go out and do what I'm doing, but do it in a safe way as well. The last thing on the riding tip is more fun. I wanna go out and have more fun this season than I've ever had snowboarding. That should be your guys' goal too. Biggest goal of riding ever, have the most fun. And I think a big thing with that is you gotta give what the day takes you. If it's cold, dump in, whatever, go ride what's gonna be fun. Don't try and force the park. If it's bluebird, amazing, but icy on the runs, go in the park. The park won't be icy, it'll be sick. So most fun usually comes with going with what the day gives you and dude, just have the most fun. It's, it's that easy, it's just go kill it. And that's what I wanna do the most this season with my riding. All right, let's get into traveling. This is destinations that I want to hit this season. No matter what, they're gonna go down. We have Telluride, Jackson Hole, Purgatory, Trollhagen, which is in Wisconsin. Jackson Hole's in Wyoming, by the way. And those are the places I really wanna go. I wanna make sure I hit all of those places. I don't want to not hit them. And traveling has been one of the things that I found out was super fun last year. Went to a ton of new resorts and... <laughs> now there'll be a lot of other places we go that are not on this list that I really wanna make happen as well. But these are the main ones. These are like, do this, Jonathan. These are where you wanna go, so. Uh, that's what's gonna happen. All right, let's get into the YouTube goals. Now, this could come across as selfish or weird or I don't know, but I'm a YouTuber, I make YouTube videos. Uh, YouTube is the only reason why I'm a professional snowboarder. I get to do snowboarding professionally because of you guys, all the supporters. So I do have goals when it comes to this channel because it is a business, it is how I, I support my family. So uh, I take it serious and it's only gonna get better and this channel's sick. So uh, these are my YouTube goals. Goal number one, I wanna double in subscribers. We're basically at 15,000 subscribers. So I wanna be at 30,000 plus subscribers by the end of the season four. I really think that's attainable to double in size. We did it last year and we made sick videos and we're gonna make more sick videos this year. So doubling would be sick. The best part about these YouTube goals are these are goals that I can't accomplish by myself. I need you guys to help achieve these goals. So with that, if you wanna help me achieve this goal of 30,000 subscribers, just share the videos. Sharing the videos is the best way to help this channel grow. And I appreciate everyone that does. We do get a ton of shares. But if you find a video and you're like, this was so sick, share it. And I don't mean just to your friends, go onto the snowboard reddits, share it. Go to your Facebook groups, share it. Go to where snowboarders are and share the videos and that will help us grow a lot faster than me sharing it. Cause a lot of people don't like when you self promote. They're like, ah, get out of here, dude. No one wants to watch your videos. But if you're like, dude, I, I, I watched this dude and he's sick. A lot of people are like, you know what? You're right. I'm gonna jump on board with you. I wanna be a part of Team Huck House and we're gonna rip. So this other goal is for you guys and I really wanna make it possible. It's gonna be a lot of work and it's gonna be hard, but it's gonna it's gonna be sick. And I wanna make 10 videos a week. And you, that's a lot of content, but that does include one live stream. But I wanna come out with at least like a board review, a how-to video, five vlogs, how to like five tips like all like a bunch of styles of videos i want to really push my creative ability not just make vlogs for you guys i want to put out the best content possible uh, and i really think there is more snowboard type content that can be created and uh, i want to be the guy to bring it to you with that comes the next goal which is just better videos so obviously we want the vlogs to get better they've gotten better every single year but also i want to come out with like board reviews i want to come out with better trick tip tutorials i want to come out with a whole bunch of better just things so better videos will help us hit that 10 goals a week video so that's a lot of that's a lot of editing and filming but i think we can achieve that goal now the last goal this is when i said this is how i support my family this is a big one this is one i do want to hit and that's 100 patreon supporters patreon is the pay the way i really pay my bills youtube gives me some money but it's really nothing other than the people snagging merch which is super huge and helps out to support the channel the patreon supporters everyone that's been on the patreon page it is so nice to know that at the beginning of every month like i can pay my rent because of you guys so thank you so much if you want to be a part of that and help me hit the 100 patreon supporters that would be huge we're at 26 supporters right now which is so sick but i think we can definitely get that to 100 people on the patreon page now if you don't know what my patreon page is it's basically a website where you can donate money and i give back to you guys there's certain tiers you can hit and in those tiers you got like free stickers uh one-on-one -on -one shred days are hosted through there and the biggest thing is with the patreon page I want to offer a snowboard 101, 101 course, basically a course where I give you guys very broken down specific for you type um, 
content that will help you become the best snowboard possible. Kind of dry and lame for YouTube, but perfect for this type of scenario. So if you want to be a part of that, that is going to be listed, linked in the description. Check out the Patreon page. The one-on-one -on -one course is not posted yet. I'll get that up in the next couple of days, but I'm really excited to host the one-on-one -on -one course, which will be four videos a week helping you guys become the best snowboarders possible. And that's our goal here in this channel. And of course, with hitting the goal of 100 Patreon supporters, that really just guarantees that uh, we'll be able to do this daily snowboarding a lot more. And that's what we want to do. We want to be able to travel the world and go to like Australia, New Zealand and stuff in the summer. And so that's how like this Patreon, knowing that the income is coming, will allow us to travel more. And that would be super sick. So the main goal, the biggest goal, what do we want at the end of season four? And this is something that I'm so stoked on. I've written out so much goal planning and things on how to achieve this. And, and I really think it's possible and I really wanna make it possible. And that is to get an RV, a little 16 foot camper to pull behind the FJ for this summer, to make better summer content, to travel to Mount Hood in Oregon, pack up Roman and Bobby, be out there for two months and just make great content for you guys. So that is the goal of this whole ch of this whole season is to be able to get that camper, to be able to pack my family up because I do have a wife, I do have a son. So traveling isn't that easy, but if we get that camper van, Bobby and Roman have a place to be when I go out and make videos slash we can come back to somewhere together after we as a family go out and make videos will be super sick. So, uh, and then to travel and do more mountain biking across the United States and just more snowboarding because like we could leave in like April, May-ish and go down to, to, to Mammoth with the camper, be down there for a month, then roll up to Hood, host a snowboard camp. And all of this will be funded or possible because of that camper van or not camper van, the, the little 16 foot RV camper. And so that is the goal. I want to just go more and more into this snowboard YouTubing for like a living slash I want to experience like all of the stuff professional snowboarders get to experience with traveling, going to hood for a week or whatever, or getting to do cop host copper weeks. Like I think it'd be so sick for us to eventually host a week at copper, like come out for Jonathan Buckhouse week. But me and Tommy, the professional snowboard coach are talking about having two week camp, like two week camps. So it'd be two camps that are a week long in Oregon. And you guys would come out and learn how to snowboard with me and Tommy and uh, Kyle. And it would be so sick. So, this is the goal, that's what we're going for. All these goals, we wanna improve our riding, we wanna travel, we wanna grow the channel, and then we wanna be able to just continue to make the best content possible for you guys, even throughout the summer, because this was the best summer ever, by the way. You guys are so supportive. I had so many people actually like watching throughout the summer. We actually got subscribers in the summer. No joke, last summer we got zero subscribers. And the summer before that, we got zero subscribers and we got about 1500 new subscribers this summer. So that was incredible. So thank you to all the new subscribers and we're growing, we're getting better, we're getting views, we're getting supported by all the super chats on the live streams. Everyone snagging merch, you guys are awesome. All right, I've been talking like crazy. So snag your evolution merch, get your stickers, hoodies, t-shirts, anything you need before the season. Don't don't show up to the season without the warmest merch in the game. You're going to regret it. You want to be warm out there on the mountain. And then if you do snag it, <laughs> and if you do snag it, tag me on Instagram. So I can give you guys gear and sticker shout outs. I'm basically over this cold I got. I was like down and out for three days. So we're going to be back up and running soon. I can feel it. I'm already feeling much better. So that's super sick. And we're going to try and make snowboard content till Keystone opens, which might be on Friday. Oh, rumors, people I know saying things. That'd be so sick. So I hope that goes down. All right, guys, I don't know what else to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel because we want to help you become the best snowboarder possible. And with that, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. And we'll see you next time. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no. Kyle's going ham today, dude. He's already done a double backflip twice. Like, I haven't even strapped in yet.